Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is going to be on the main theme from Assassin's Creed Odyssey which is called The Legend of the Eagle Bearer. It's a lovely little song, I've done a cover version so go and check that out. I'll put a card above, I think it goes up there and I'll also put it in the description down below. Go and check it out so you can hear it all the way through because I won't play it all the way through today. Um, I've written it all out. Just before I teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, really does help me out. Give me a like on the video as well, share in the video, and leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what songs you want to do, what you think of the video, where in the world you're from. Um, I love to hear from you guys. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me going, and you want to print the tabs out for this, I'll put them on my Patreon account. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. My guitar's in standard tuning. Uh, we've got quite a lot to get through, so let's get started. Uh, it starts off with the first little bit, the intro that goes. So for that, we hold down B3 and E5 nearest to the floor. And we're going to hit uh, a down, up, down, up, down, really fast, as fast as you can. And then you just into the, that goes into the next bar, so down, up, down, up, down, that's into the second bar, bar two, and then play the B string and the E, and just alternate between the B and the E for the rest of the um, line, so you get this. Uh, so that's like a little intro part, and then the next line goes. Uh, and it goes into the next part. Uh, so for that, we're going to play the D string pretty much all through. Don't exactly have to play exactly what's written. I'm just kind of... I'm, I'm hitting the D string most of the time. Um, uh, so what we need to do is play 10 on the B string, but we need to make sure we're muting off the G string. Do three hits on the 10, then back to fret eight, and then fret 10 on the B string and playing the D string at the same time so you get just make sure you're muting off the G string and then you just keep playing the open D string another three times in that bar and then the next bar we do the D string uh, seven times and then he's going to play 8, 10, up to 11 into the next bar and then in bar 6 we're hitting 11 on the B string hitting the D string at the same time, then the D string, and then 11, then 10 on the B string, then the D string, then 10, and then 8, and then the D string. And then just carry on the D string. And then there's a little 6, 8, which is gonna go to fret 10 on the next line down. So let's try that line slowly, we've got. to speed it go and then on to the next line we're going to play 10 then open D 10 then 8 then open D then 8 6 so all those notes on 10 the numbers are on the B string so it's 10 10 8 8 6 and you see we've got the open D's in between those bar of D's, then it goes 8, 8, 8, 5, 3, then the D's. So and in the next bar, um, I don't think I did four bars of that, I can't remember what I did on the cover version, but just keep playing the D string, because in the actual version it does it longer and it has some other instruments over the top. Uh, but I just did it a little bit and then just stopped and then went into the next section. Uh, so let's just try that line, we've got... Gradual slow down. Okay, so let's just play the whole of that beginning section just so you can hear it. It got. OK, 
Okay, then there's a little pause and you got So for that we've got a D5 chord which is fret 2 on the G string and fret 3 on the B string and we're going to go down, up, down, down and then an up and then play A3 and then back to that chord so you've got down, up, down, down up, down, down so there's a down on the fret 3 too so down, up, down, down uh, the same, the next bar's the same, but we've got an extra three on the end, on the A string, so we've got down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 on the end. Uh, bar 13 is the same as bar, uh, sorry, bar 15 is the same as bar 13. So let's just play the first three bars of that line, we've got. And then it plays the D chord, and then we go to this chord, which is fret three on the D string, fret five on the A uh, G string, and fret six on the B string. You should hear that fret three. Then move up two frets, so it's on five, seven, and eight. Then down to fret one, so you've got one, three, and four. And then back to that original D chord. So we've got. Okay, so let's try the whole line, we'll do it slowly. Go. That's sweet. Okay, and that line repeats, and then we get this. So for that, we're going to play um, the D string and the B string, muting off the um, open, uh, mis muting off the G string. Then we're going to play. I'll just tell you the numbers because on the B string, because it just plays the open D string throughout. So it goes ten to ten, eight, ten, 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 ten. So ten, 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 eight, ten, 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 ten. Then the next bar, bar eighteen, is just holding fret ten down. Um, and then we go to fret 11 in the next bar, three times, three tens, two eights. So let's just try bar 17, 18 and 19, you got. And then bar 20 is the same as what we had on the previous line though. So the whole line goes. The next line goes back to fret 10 and we go 10 three times, 8 three times and 6 twice. The next bar just holds fret 6 all the way through it. And then it goes 8, 8, 8, 4, 3, 3, 3, 3. And then that last bar is the same as with what we've done. So let's just try that line. We go three, four. And those two lines, the last two lines, repeat. So let's just play those last two lines. Here we go. Um, so bar, from bar 17 to bar 24. One, two, three, four. So then that repeats, and then the next bit goes. So for that we're playing open D string and three on the B string, and we hit that three times. Then fret three on the D string and six on the B string. 
Then move that same shape up two frets, so you're on five on the D string and eight on the B string and hit that four times. So the first bar of that line goes. And then just play the open D string in the next bar. Then we get back to these octaves, so you're on eight on the D string and 11 on the B string. Hit that three times. Down a fret to fret seven. Then down more, two more frets to fret eight. Hit it twice, so you got. And then just the open D string to finish off that line. So that line goes. The next line starts open D and three on the B string, three times, and then you're gonna do the octave starting on fret three on the D string. Three, five, five, three, five. So you got. And then to fret eight, th uh, three times. Fret seven, three times. And then fret five twice. And then fret three, three times. Fret one once. So it's all the octaves, so I'm only telling you the note on the D string, so hopefully that still makes sense. So that line goes. And that'll go into the next bar. Um, so let's just play those last two lines because they, they kind of go together, it goes. And then the, the last line that I did was the same as the fourth line. We've got the So hopefully that will make sense. So let's try playing it all the way through uh, nice and slowly. Here it comes. One, two, three, four. in here Line. 
And that's the whole song. If you want to hear it full speed, go and check out my cover. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. If you want to print the tabs off for this, I'll put them on my Patreon uh, account. Uh, I've said it as cheaply as possible. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well. If you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, that really does help me out. Give me a like on the video as well. And the more comments, the better. Let me know what you thought of the video, if it was too easy, too hard, too fast, too slow. Let me know where in the world you're from. It's really interesting for me. I'm just here at my home and you guys are watching it around the world. It's bizarre. So yeah, let me know where you come from. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.